create and modify surfaces. So this one, the first one, when you uh, click on this uh, small triangle, it gives you all like the main methods that uh, are used to create 3D objects. Uh, I will mention maybe one, two, three, four. I'll mention the most important four uh, methods. So number one is surface from planar curves. This is uh, when you have a planar curve, you know, like planar, it's on, like, on the same plane. So for example, this object of mine, uh, because it's on one plane, if I look at from the right side, you can see it's all has one plane. So it's a planar curve. I can choose it and with this command here, I can fill it. So if I choose this, choose my object and say enter. So now it fills it. So now I have a full surface. Okay, before it was only a curve. Now there is the old curve and the new surface. Um, yeah, so from this, tools here we saw this how to create a surface from a 2d shape like this and you also like uh, tried the extrude straight there is different extrusion um, method which is extrude to point so it was also here after like the other options here extrude to point so when i say extrude to point i choose my curve and say enter so it's asking me to place a point so if i place it in a different section and say here so created a pyramid so so yeah these are the tools that we have like also you can see the same uh commands that you're seeing here under surface panel you can see them um, here on this side now. So extrude straight, extrude tapered, extrude curve. So these are the extrusion commands. Uh, the last thing, like this is also like a very important thing uh, I want to show is loft. This command creates surfaces from curves. I will create a normal like curvy Curve, choosing this, I will create them on on a side like on a section view. So like one. So this is my first. I hit enter. I hit enter again to re-create the same thing, or like re-enter the same command. And now I created a different, very random curve again. So from my perspective. I will move this a bit so they have this like distance between them. I'm not sure if they are very obvious. What did you uh, click uh, to make that curve? I'm trying to just um, uh -huh. do it myself on it's, this too. It's from uh, this here, the control points on curves, control points curve. And I create them on a side view. I can see them here, like uh, I have two curves, one, two. Mm -hmm and uh, like an opposite of each other and planar on, on one plane. So that's uh, one thing. Uh, if I go now to this loft command, it will ask you here on top, select curves to loft. So I will select the two curves and hit enter. This, these are like the, the loft options. Uh, I will leave everything OK for now and say OK. But when I look at it, it created this surface from, let me show it on, on active mode. So it's like, you know, holiday carpet, you know. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I'm here in the, in the top view. I chose the circle command. I created the first circle. Again, I'm in the center here. I will create 
Uh, I'm going to try and do the center thing. So it's a uh, to center it. You yeah. you choose like you know these object snaps down here. So you choose what the snaps. That's right. Is I just created copies of these two circles that I created. Okay. And then uh, I will see. I will go into lot. With it says here, select the curves to loft. I will start choosing them one by one, so it goes by order. So I will say, with without clicking enter, you can create multi objects, or like select multi objects like this. So I chose the five. I say enter. It's all like in the same direction, which is good. Say enter, and now, yeah, I have my object. So something like this. You have a circle here. So to create yep. another circle, uh, also go again to the circle command. Okay. And hover over the edge. So I think it should show you center. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I want to create a new circle, which center is with the center of the old one. So uh, from a perspective view, I chose the first one. Uh, from this gumball, like these uh, arrows, I just like one click on the top top arrow, <clears throat> the blue one, one click, and for me, I got the value of 200. So it, it moved it uh, this way. How did you get the, um, I guess, to where you can move it? Is there a, like a move yeah. command type thing? This is the gumball here. Oh, gumball, gumball. Okay. So, what is what does gumball mean? I'm, I'm not sure why they call it like. I'm thinking about it now. So it's like not a gumball, <laughs> not a ball. Uh, it's just to like, confuse you, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a, a, the easiest way to like move and uh, maybe rotate your objects. So it's really useful. Maybe you can scale too. So you play with it. If I choose. I select my object and only click one click on this uh, blue arrow. It will uh, open you like how much do you want to move it up. So you okay. can write, for example, 200 or maybe 150 or uh, the same action, but with, with clicking Alt on the keyboard. If you click Alt and one click, and with the same value, so it created the cup. So, so for example, if now I chose, I selected this circle, if I keep hitting Alt and drag this, so I created a copy wherever I want. So it's just like also works by dragging, not only like one click. Maybe if you can click the curve itself, and from these uh, handles here, you can see them. Can but but it will turn into something, I know, oval. like ellipse oval. Yeah. Let's say we want to work with this. So let's say I want to create an object like this. Like this, and then I loft them. Say okay. Wow, created a cool object. Well, what viewpoint makes it white again? Is that uh, ghosted? Uh, yeah. That's Arctic. So yeah, today we created our first two bases. Very cool. All these guys go to loft. Even, for example, now I created these hollow objects. There is a mm -hmm. very easy command that it's called cap. I say OK, and now it's all. How would you do that? Cap, C-A-P. So the you see here commands join and explode. So if I explode my, my object, now I have the cap as one part, and I can delete it. 
So I ex basically exploded my thing into three surfaces, the down cap, the, the body itself, and the upper cap that I deleted. These are my curves. I chose them. I hit loft, all same direction, enter. So here, in this panel, you can see this closed loft. Is it closed or not? So you can choose it. So if I say yes. Why does your say tight? Mine says normal. What does that mean? Loose um, loft. Just different ways of showing. So loose. It, it, so it's mm. similar to before. It does not pass through the curve. It's just like between them, between the curves. Tight, it like makes them more um, different ways to similar to normal the situation or straight section. So with, with the straight section, you can do something like this. Uniform. Oops. Yeah, but when I choose close, it closes in a very weird way. This is how it close. So yeah, this is it. So if I go loose again, now I do lose tight. Yeah, tight. I like it. And say okay. We have a new design. 